Okay, so what we want to learn today is how to transfer designs from a CD that we've purchased that have embroidery designs on it, how to transfer those both to the computer to save, and then also how to transfer them to a USB, which then of course goes into our embroidery machine so we can stitch out. So this is just a typical desktop for a PC, and I'm going down here to the file folder. It opens up. And I am scrolling down and we see that here is the DVD of the designs, okay? And it is open. I see where there's a file folder here that has the designs on it, okay? So here's everything that's on that CD. I see the designs here and I also see the tutorials. So if I wanna put the, both the designs and the information on how to make the project on my computer, I'm going to create a folder on my desktop. Here at Luke's, we have designs from, so that's a, that's a folder that's on our desktop that we're going to target to put those designs in, okay? So it says right here, designs from. All right, so I'm gonna open that up and I'm gonna squish it a little bit. All righty, so down here, there's our DVD. This is the folder that's open where we're going, that's where we're going to target to put our designs. So these designs happen to be all from a certain family. It's a, it's a group of designs from Anita Good. So I think what I would like to do on this, in this folder, is I am going to go on the desktop. We know that there's a folder labeled designs and I am going to right click and I'm going to create a new folder and let's see. Here we go. I right clicked on desktop and it says new folder. And I'm going to call that Anita Fall Designs. All right, sounds good. So I've created that folder, and there it is right there, and it's on my desktop. So at this point, I'm going, you see that's the target. That's where we're going to drop the designs and the tutorial. Right now that, that folder is empty. I'm going to the DVD, all right, and there are the designs and the tutorials. So I'm going to slide back up here, and we see that the folder that we've targeted is right here. So I'm going to take the tutorials. I'm going to click here to select it. I am selecting on the keyboard. I'm hitting shift. So I've got both of them. They're both selected. At that point, I am clicking and I'm dragging those two into the folder that we've targeted. Okay. And it's going to take that information and you can see right now it is copying those and putting those right onto the folder that we've identified, which is Anita Fall Designs. And it is rapidly going across there. It's 15% complete. And this is the Fall Fasteners design. And we are almost 40% complete. What's nice about this is when you create a folder that's named for your collection of designs, it makes it much easier for you to find something specific that you're looking for. If you have them all dumped into one repository, that makes it a little bit tough. So I like to name the folder for the collection of designs. All right, so we've got the tutorials in here. Now we're gonna click on the designs. All right, and I need to decide what file format I have. Okay, so again, we've got, we've got that target folder is right here. And in there, I wanna put the designs. Well, the format that I have happens to be VP3. Okay, for our Viking friends, we'll do the Genome in just a second. So the VP3, so I'm going to, I'm going to take all these designs. Now you can see there's tons of designs in here but we're just going to take the folder and we're going to drag it and put it right into that 
and need a fall design. So here they are. I'm dragging it across and dropping it into that folder that we have prepared. Okay, so I'm from Missouri, which means the show me state, right? Let's see what we have in this folder that Anita designs. Three things, everything we wanted. There are the two PDFs, which is the tutorial on how to do it. There's some information about Anita and then the VP3. And of course, when I click on this folder, there are all those designs that we looked at, okay? Now, I mentioned that we were going to do our genome. Well, that's going to be easy. So when I go to the CD and designs, we notice that there is a JEF folder. Right, so all I do is select the folder, and again, I'm going to take that folder, and I'm going to drag it and put it into the Anita Fall Designs. And now we have, right here, you can see we've got the VP3 for Viking, and we've got the JEF file format for our Genomi buddies. All right, so that's how you get designs from a CD and put them on your computer. Next step. Let's talk about taking those designs, and we're going to pick a design, and we're going to transfer it to a USB. So we had the CD. They're on our computer. We need to put them on that USB so I can get them on my machine to stitch. So let's do the Viking first. Anita Fall Designs, that's where our, our designs are targeted. Here is a VP3. We see all the designs. I'm going to stretch this out a little bit, and I'm going to just pick a design. Uh, let's see. There we go. Little scarecrow. All right. So I say, oh, I like that scarecrow. And right down here, we see the USB. Now, when I have a Viking, there's nothing I, nothing special I need to do. So I've selected the design. I see the preview here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go right here to the USB. And I'm going to right click again and I'm going to hit paste. And there it is. Okay. At that point, I can take my USB stick, put it in the side of my embroidery machine, call up the design, and stitch it out. Now, let's review how to do that for our genome. So we know that the designs are right here. Again, in that folder that we created, here's genome. I'm going to open that up. I see these designs. I'm going to select one. Now, this is a little bit different for Genomi. And if you have a Genomi machine, you already realize this. Any design that I need to put on the USB stick must be in the EMBF. That stands for Embroidery File Folder. So we see the stick is here. This is formatted for a Genomi. I see two folders. One is for embroidery. One is for stitches that can be saved. We want to open up the embroidery folder, and look right there is the EMBF folder. So again, I've selected my design. I'm right clicking. I'm copying it. I'm going to the EMBF folder. Okay, you see where I've got the cursor on the EMBF folder. I'm right clicking again, and I'm pasting. I'm from Missouri. Let's make sure that they're in there. All right, so here's our USB. Here's the EMBF folder. When I click on it, there's our design. And we saw before when we clicked on the USB, there is our scarecrow. Okay, so that's how you get designs from a CD onto the computer. And then also how to move those designs onto the USB so you can get them to your machine and start stitching. Till next time, I'm Brenda with Luke's. Bye-bye for now.